Okay, so let's sum up. All right, I'll get this out here. You have definite integrals that have boundaries, so there's no more plus C. Once you put boundaries in, you simply integrate. You have graphs where you're saying the top curve minus the bottom curve. Now, the only other situation is where the curve changes position. And what do I mean by that? What I mean by that is if I have a situation, let's say where I have a curve here, which I'll call f of x, and then I have a curve here, which I'll call g of x, then your boundaries, let me get this line out of here, okay? Your boundaries, all right, if it's like this and I'm coming down and over, from this point to this point, you have g of x minus f of x. But from this point, to here, you're going to say f of x minus g of x. So you're going to treat them separately. You're going to take the integral going from here to here, top curve minus bottom curve, get an answer. Take the integral going from here to here, top curve minus bottom curve, get another answer, and then add the two of them together. Okay? That's the only situation, and usually it's going to be where you have a cubic um, a cubic polynomial equation. Otherwise, it should be straightforward. The other example that you might have to think about a little bit is if you're finding area and it looks like this, okay? In this case, your top curve is going to be the line y equals zero, and this would be your bottom curve. So you would be saying zero minus the bottom curve. If you get a negative answer when you're doing area, you're incorrect. If you're defining or you're evaluating a definite integral in and of itself, not related to area, then you could get a negative answer, okay? But area's got to be positive. A definite integral can be either positive or negative. That pretty much sums up everything with the area. Now, for those of you that were not here when I did integrals for natural logs, you want to try to keep in mind that if you're integrating anything in this form, whether it be 1 over x dx or 1 over u du, when you resubstitute in, this will automatically be the natural log of x plus c or the natural log of u plus c. Now, I'm not going to give you any of those with definite integrals. I just need you to know that if it comes up. The other one is the integral for e to, to the x dx or e to the u du. Again, the integral is automatically e to the x plus c, and over here, it's e to the u plus c. Okay, I don't want to shortchange you, but they are their own integrals, just like they're their own derivatives. If you have questions on that, make sure that you ask. Okay, 